Tonight, more than 14,000 General Motors employees are out of a job. They include hundreds of workers at the GM plant in White Marsh. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren is live at the Baltimore County Executive Offices in Towson, where Leaders Announce help is on the way for those who are being laid off. Mike? Vic, the announcement today was a surprise to county leaders. The county executive said it's been a challenging day. They set up the East Point Career Center to help affected workers. It was 20 years ago when Maryland taxpayers gave generous incentives for GM to locate here in the county. General Motors' White Marsh plant had been touted as one of the company's most efficient. Now, 310 workers there are being laid off. And we're going to fight to try to keep those 300 jobs, but I don't know at this point uh, uh, the reason uh, why they're closing all these plants across the country. Baltimore County leaders learned of the closure after getting a phone call from GM executives this morning. The county will provide assistance to employees to help them find new jobs. Disappointed in GM. Um, I think they're walking away from working men and women in Baltimore County. The plant here has received awards for being environmentally friendly. It makes transmissions for General Motors full-size trucks. The plant first opened in 2000. The county says it's already met its obligation as far as tax breaks. It was a favorite backdrop of politicians, including Hillary Clinton, during her 2008 presidential run. That's why coming to this plant was so important. These are the jobs of the future. This is what I want America to invest in. Baltimore County's executive says he's unsure whether the president's tariffs are to blame. President Trump lashed out at General Motors' CEO. I was very tough. I spoke with her when I heard they were closing. And I said, you know, this country's done a lot for General Motors. The union representing workers at the plant says GM is increasing production in Mexico and China. And it's a slap in the face to the American people who saved the company from bankruptcy. Well, we lose some good jobs, you know. There's not that many good jobs left anymore. You know, not everybody can work at McDonald's and support a family. And here are some other numbers that show just what a major impact this is on Maryland. More than $30 million in lost wages and more than $7 million in lost income taxes. Reporting live from Baltimore County Executive Offices in Towson, Mike Helgren, WJZ.